Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys the super easy way to create GIF images on your computer by using a program called screen to gif So as the name would suggest, you can find it at screen 2 gifcom I'll put a link in the description. And you can install the program with the installer. So once you have screen to gif installed, boot it up like any other application, and you're going to get this tiny pop-up with a few options. So in screen to gif you have the option of using the screen recorder or your webcam. In this tutorial, we'll be focusing on the screen recorder to create a GIF from our screen. So I'm going to click the recorder button and you'll get another pop up window. In this case, you have to position screen to GIF in the region of your screen that you want to record. So you can drag around this box to whichever corner you want to be recording. So for a Unity game, I'm going to position it around here where when we go into game view, we'd be able to see the game here. So that's where I want it to be recording. Now there's a few settings at the bottom. One is FPS. So generally speaking, for size reasons, you wouldn't make a GIF with incredibly high FPS. So 15 is a pretty good baseline for a GIF image. Remember that a GIF file is just a sequence of images that can play back. So too many images inside of the file is going to make big upload sizes, which might might not be okay for sites you want to upload to. The other option here is width and height, so the resolution of your image. So like with having a higher FPS, if you have higher resolution for your image, that's also going to increase your file size, so be aware of that. So if you've positioned everything correctly, you have your FPS set up and height and width is where you want it to be. So the next thing is just to prepare your computer for whatever you want to record. So I'll go ahead and hit play on this Unity game. And then when I'm finally ready to record, you can either hit the record button down here or F7 on your keyboard. And then it's going to start recording all of your actions. So maybe I'll fire a couple arrows, swing the dagger a couple times. And if I decided that my GIF is good now, I can go ahead and hit stop. I get this pop-up because I had a previously recorded GIF. I don't care about it, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit yes to discard it. So whether or not you got the pop-up, it should pop into the editor now. So the editor will show all of the frames of your GIF at the bottom. So you can see there's quite a lot of them here. And there's a good chance we'll want to make some cuts from the beginning and end information that we don't really need or want in our GIF. So you can click on each frame to see how your animation progresses. So what I would do is find the frame where you really want to start showing the action in your GIF and delete everything before that. So I'll just delete frames 1 through 25 here. So I'm going to left click on 25 and then I'm going to hold shift down, go over to the far left and left click on 0. So by doing that, we selected all the frames 0 to 25. I can hit delete on my keyboard and then yes to get rid of all those frames. And now the animation is going to start here which, as you can see, has actual actions and much more relevant to a GIF I'd want to post on the internet. Um, so let's go towards the end of what we recorded, and then we can trim some of the animations over here as well. So let's just say frame 60 is where we want things to end. So I'll left click on frame 61, and I'll go here to the end, shift left click, and then I'm going to delete everything after frame 60. Okay. So now we can go to the start here and we can try playing back our GIF animation. So I'm going to go to the playback tab and hit play and we can see a preview of what it's going to look like when we actually publish our GIF. So as you play back your GIF animation, you might think that you want the speed of the GIF to play back a little faster than real time. So one option you have is to go to the edit tab and choose override here. So you can override the delay of your frames to a new value such as 50 milliseconds. So we recorded at 15 FPS. Everything on the computer was still running normally, but we only captured 15 frames per second. So if we make the new delay 50 milliseconds, then that's going to be 20 frames per second. In other words, we'd be boosting the playback speed of the GIF by around 33%. So I'm going to select all of the frames, left click on frame zero, go to the end, hold shift, left click on the final frame, and now we can override the delay to 50. So when you hit apply there, every frame now is going to play back at 50 uh, milliseconds per frame. And if we go to play back and hit play, we'll see that the GIF is now going to play back much faster. For posting on social media, you only have a few seconds to capture someone's attention. So you probably do want it to be faster rather than slower. So there are some other options you can play around with, especially in the edit and image tab. But if you're just doing a simple recording, we can go ahead and export our GIF now. So go over to the File tab in the top left, go to Save As, and you'll get this export window on the right side. So file type is going to be GIF, of course. 
I find that if you leave the encoder to the default settings of screen to GIF and the neural network, that you tend to get pretty good results. So we'll go ahead and leave all that there. So you just need to give it a location on your computer and a name for your GIF file. So maybe I'll call this tutorial GIF and I'll go ahead and save it. In the top right, you'll get your export progress. And once it's completed, you can go ahead and click this folder icon to see your new GIF. Double click on it in order to view it. And there you go, you have a GIF that you can now upload to any site you want to and you didn't even need to touch a video editor. So that's screen to GIF, really cool application and free to use. So go ahead, check it out. I've been Chris, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future video content.